Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 27 of my XL 2013 tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to continue going into graphs, and we're going to go into area graphs. Now, area graphs I really like, um, and people who work with me will uh, will know me for creating various very colourful graphs using these area graphs, but there's a reason I like using them, and it's because I find them visually very uh, useful uh, for representing certain things. So I'm going to get rid of this line graph um, and just create ourselves a new one. So they're very similar to line graphs. They basically create a line graph. So if we highlight our data and click on here, so use this chart to show trends over time or categories. Use it to highlight the magnitude of change over time. So that's that's the significant bit, the magnitude of change over time. So rather than it just being representing change over time, this is representing the magnitude. Uh, and if we look at them, you can see that we've got quite a few different options. Now this first option I very rarely use, um, just because they go over the top of each other. So you can see here, I can't even see Berlin. So what's the point? Um, it is useful sometimes, but generally uh, you'd use a line for that type. These are the two types that I would use a area graph for. So let's start off on the stacked area uh, and put this over here and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, and again, I'm going to get do the same as I did for the line graph and just get rid of the title uh, and I'm going to format the legend and put it at the top. Uh, and now you can see this is a really good way of seeing it over time. So we can see the overall total over the time uh, and we can also see so say new york was quite big to start off with but then it shrunk uh whereas something like uh beijing started off fairly small and has grown and got quite big um and similarly for delhi it started off quite small and has grown over time uh, and then the other three have remained fairly constant which was what we knew anyway because we'd looked at it on the other one but now it just shows you it as a proportion so you can see new york was pretty much 50 like almost half uh, and then goes down to kind of quite a small part. Now, similarly, uh, if we click on it uh, and we go to design and change chart type, uh, if we put it to the 100% stacked area, uh, then it's going to create us this uh, kind of just blocks of color. I love these ones, they're so colorful. Um, and let's make it have a black background just to make it pop a little bit more. Why not? Um, and you can see here that now it's showing you percentages of how much each one represents of the population. So this is really good for seeing kind of splits between different things and how they've changed over time. So we can see that New York here was around about 40% of the overall. Uh, and then as it goes down, it slowly gets to more like 20%. Uh, whereas on the other hand, uh, Beijing at the bottom here starts off about 5% and goes up to almost 20. So it's increased by four times. Uh, and it just makes these things really clear and easy to understand. Um, and yeah, that's that's area graphs. Uh, one of my favorite, very colorful. Um, and people very rarely understand what you're doing with them, though, which is the only backside. Uh, they can be a little bit confusing sometimes what you're actually trying to represent. Uh, but normally once you explain them, uh, people are happy with them. Obviously, the other major disadvantage is if you print them off, then they take up all of your ink. But shh, don't tell anyone. Anyway, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Please like and subscribe.